Hey buddy, sister girl, Christina and Ted, we are checking out a snarl video. Now this one is called Don't Invite the Duppy, a Jamaican scary story time, something scrawled. I mean, something scary snarl. That's a long title. Try to say it all, got tongue tied. But um, the reason I'm like excited to see this is because my family's Jamaican, if you didn't know, like my side, my husband's family is Haitian. But one of the things I remember as a kid is that let's say something was moved in the house. Like there was a toy that was one place and we moved it over here. Or, you know, like when um, a grandparent or a mother would be like, who did this? And all the kids are like, I don't know, not me. And then my grandmother's response was like, oh, it wasn't you? What was it, a duppy? Like, oh, so we asked her, what is a duppy? Why do you keep saying that? Because obviously she's, her statement is the fact that she's like, are you, yeah, when you guys did it, because who else would it be, a duppy? And a duppy, she said, was a ghost. So I'm interested to see a Jamaican scary story about a duppy, which like, it's like, uh, Jamaicans are very supernatural believers, like with a lot of things that, uh, yeah, so, stories I remember hearing as a kid, of, like things that they've seen or um, have experienced over there. And I think those lands that are a lot older, especially if the people have been there for a long time, they have a lot more experiences than some others may. So. Um, I'm excited to see what this story is going to be about my heritage, the scary story about my heritage. All right, link for this video is down below in the co in the description box. I don't know why it's a Jamaican video and I did a country accent. I can't explain that to you. Links down below along with the link for my merch. Definitely check it out. Crowdme.com forward slash iChristine. Check it out down below. Let's get started. Something scary. Don't invite Don't a duppy. Invite a duppy. The following story was inspired by Chan. Okay. I live in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Here, everyone has ghost stories. Someone named Chan or, in Jamaica. As we call them, okay. duppy stories. Yeah, my ghost obsession stories, yeah. with duppy began when I was 11, when I was at my grandma's funeral. There was nobody in attendance except me, my little sisters Tanya and Nina, my mom, is beautiful. and my uncle Louis. They lowered my grandma's coffin into the ground, and my uncle placed an upside-down shrub on the coffin, roots pointed up. Okay. I looked up at my mom, who was staring intently at the grave. Mm. Mom, what is that? She was stone-faced and said nothing. My uncle Louis yeah, put his hand on my shoulder. Little Chan, when people die, the good soul goes up to heaven, and the bad soul stays in the ground. After mm. three days, the bad soul's shadow rises up and walks the earth as a duppy. He continued, mm. if the shrub faces down, the shadow gets confused and stays put. Oh, but if the shrub okay. faces right side up, he shook his head and clicked his tongue. My mother became oh, like, enraged. Stop telling her that shit, oh, she hissed. Wow. From that day wow, on, she was upset. Were all I could think about. I followed my uncle Lewis around, asking him to tell me more duppy stories. Mm. Duppy? He laughed. They're as real as me or you, mm -hmm. but they're all bad. They're mean. They can grab you, hurt you, or worse. Don't so look it sounds for like duppy. A, like a poltergeist. And never ever invite a duppy to come to you. But are there any cute duppy? I asked. You wouldn't like them. What? Okay, this little girl, she got, she ain't all Jamaican. She ain't all, she ain't all, uh, <coughs> 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 ha. can't say what I want to say, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. They stink of death and they have no face. Is there any Just cute wide, line? grinning Ninja? teeth. He made a scary face and I screamed. Then we both laughed hysterically. Mm -hmm. The next day, I skipped through the graveyard carrying a basket of flowers okay. and placed them one by one in front of 13 tombstones. Okay. With each one That's I placed, nice, but... I said, Duppy, Duppy, come to me. Why would you do that? A week that? later, the worst. Can I go back in time to when this story happened, visit this chick with a belt? She need to get beat. She need to get beat with a belt, bruh. You ain't going to no graveyard putting flowers in people's grave and asking them. After everything I done told you, is there a cute one, ninja? No, bruh. No. Uh-uh. No. Possible Kick her off the happened. island. Uncle Lewis was killed in town by a mugger. The culprit got away and was never found. Holy and God. just like that, 
We were burying another relative. Oh my gosh. I was given the job of placing the shrub on the coffin. I thought about my Uncle Lewis and how I would do anything to see him again. Oh no. I placed the shrub on his coffin and uttered under my breath, Duppy, Duppy, come to me. No, he said We inherited my grandma's house bad. from Uncle Lewis, and my sisters, mom, and I moved in after the funeral. Oh my there was a coldness about my grandma's house. It was sad and smelled weird. The lights in some of the rooms didn't turn on, and what daylight came in through the windows was dimmed by the large trees outside. Oh my goodness. My mom became weirdly needy to me and my sisters. Mm. I would walk Tanya and Nina home from school and find my mom sitting on the veranda, waiting for us to get home. Uh, she smiled and okay. welcomed us, but her eyes wore a secret pain. I really? think she didn't want to be alone inside the house. I get At that. Night, her brother. The wind had begun to bellow mother. and shake the walls. My mom would cook meals and they would become rotten when she turned her back on them. What? She dragged a cot into our room to sleep and abandoned her own room altogether. Really? Then one day, my mom confronted me. She asked me, Chan, what direction did you plant the shrub on top of Uncle Lewis? Mm. I stammered. The, the way I was supposed to, with mm -hmm. the, the roots pointing up. Mm. I lied. Mm -hmm. I see, she said with a calm fury. Pangs of guilt stung my skin. Mm. Later that night, the wind got so loud that the rattling of so the wind So the mom's probably experiencing some My mom stuff. and my sisters were sound asleep. I groped through the darkness to the kitchen and poured myself a glass of water. Mm. On my way back to the room, the wind built in intensity, and the door to my mom's bedroom began to swing rapidly mm -mm. open mm -mm. and shut. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I was too curious to turn away. No. I peeked through the door. No. And there was just my mom's empty bed and personal things she hadn't bothered to remove. Mm -hmm. The trees thrashed violently outside the window. Oh my goodness. I took a few steps forward until I was standing at the center of the room. The wind erupted Why? into a chorus and whistled louder than ever. This chick is crazy. I got a knot in my stomach as I smelled something rotten. Ew. I heard my own teeth chattering and my curiosity turned to pure dread. Why? The closet door creaked ajar and what I saw turned my legs to quivering jelly. Why? A hand with mm. long mm. pointy mm. fingers mm. curled mm. around the closet door. Mm. My hand softened. I heard my oh, water she... glass shatter on the ground. Oh my, my body pivoted weakly towards the window. The moon came out from behind the clouds and twisting trees and revealed 13 silhouettes standing in the <gasps> room with me. One for every flower I placed in the graveyard. Oh, 13 they bore of featureless them. faces and grinning mouths. Oh Too stunned to goodness. run, I fell terrified to the ground, fumbling oh and clambering awkwardly to the exit on my hands, elbows, and knees. Bony fingers clawed at me oh and tried no. to pull me back. They scratched my skin as no. I struggled loose. A hand grabbed my ankle and almost yanked me away until no. I kicked for my life. Trembling, I finally scrambled through the door and slammed it shut behind mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. The wind moaned in concert with labored gasps as the sound of hands battered the door. Oh I began gosh. to weep as I nervously ran back down this the hall. This is your fault, chick. Mom, Tanya, Nina, we need to leave this house now. I opened mm. the door to the bedroom where my family slept. In an instant, I felt my whole world drop away beneath me. Why? There on the floor were the lifeless bodies of Tanya, no, Nina, no, no, and no, my mom. No, 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 no. Above them stood a shadowy figure. No, it's your Uncle Lewis. Oh, my Uncle Lewis. But his warm eyes and comforting smile were gone. Your body, this now is Now replaced you, with a terrifying grin and unearthly stench. This is what you get. He stepped towards me mm -hmm. and said, Duppy, Duppy, mm -hmm. come to me. Mm -hmm. The same thing you told him, you was telling him. Thank you you was telling them in the grave that this listen listen i don't care if you believe this story or not the the principle of the story is what upsets me okay the fact that you got your your the obviously age-old tr tradition of hey we say we put the shrub upside down because if we don't the bad spirit which is a duppy will stay will, will uh if we put it the right side up they'll come and they'll roam the land and they can touch you they can hurt you they want to hurt you they don't want to do anything good they want to hurt you okay and she's like oh is there a cute one <laughs> so let me go down because the first time that she was being nice i thought it was weird she was bringing flowers to the 
um, cemetery, but sometimes family members can't do that. And I, I know like for my grandmother, when we visit her grave, there's sometimes there are flowers that nobody, none of us have put. So I know sometimes people visit their loved ones and they'll see a grave that doesn't have any flowers and then they'll put some flowers on there as like a, you know, a, a gesture of generosity. Good, thumbs up, great for you. However, this chick was like, you know what? I'm gonna put on all the graves and I'm gonna ask them. And I'm, I'm not even gonna quote what this chick said because I don't want no uh, situations. Uh, she is asking them to come to her. Like, girl, you, I, she need to be, oh my gosh. This is, this is one of the things that only a belt can care. And I don't care if people are like, oh my goodness, she wants to be, yeah, you see what happened, her family died. Cause this chick wanna see a duppy. Like, bruh, your, your uncle told you about them, told you what they were like. There's no need to be like, let me go and invite 13 of them, bruh, 13. Now your family dead, what you gonna do now? What you gonna do now, hmm? You killed your family. How you feel, girl? How you feel? <sighs> Goodness. <sighs> Some people just don't learn until they learn. And sadly, that's what she had to do and her family had to pay the price. That sucks, man. That sucks, man. She ain't gonna go on no Demon Slayer type of uh, journey because she did this ish. That wasn't the Michael Jackson demon. It was her, okay? But um, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Are you Jamaican or have you heard of the Duppy before? Let me know down below. Let me, or for you, what is your historical, like traditional, scary or supernatural being, a being from your culture and things like that? Let me know down below. If you like that video, check out the link in the description box below to support Strong. If you like this video, hug the like, uh, like button. Also, don't forget to check out the link in the description box below for my new merch. Get you some, get you some. Limited edition. Unlimited edition, because I think I'm going to keep this up for a while. But yes, love you guys as always. And until next time, buddies. Toodles.